to spill your guts or fill your guts today. Tyson is our special guest, and I've kicked Zach out as the host of this show. So, are you ready? To eat oh, some? I'm ready, Ryan. Look, look at this. Look at this. We got. Well, what, do we, what do we got, Tyson? Tyson, you can explain them because. So we got the sardines right. right here, right in front of you. Right I can, oh, I can smell them. I can smell we them. We also got these olives that are stuffed with blue cheese. So I can oh. just imagine that it's festering for months. Then we got wasabi and clam juice. Now I don't know how they get the juice of clam, but I, I don't want to find out. I don't want to know. Like I don't want to know. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm gonna have you ask the first. As the host, okay. you can ask the first question. <laughs> what, what, what am I eating? What, what are you putting up? All right, Ryan. Wait, let me let me see. Ugh. I will give you wasabi, as this will burn all through the night. You will Is have bathroom bad? problems. Oh, wasabi's terrible, especially eating it plain. I don't even know if it's healthy for you, Ryan. Ugh. Ooh. I want to know who your first kiss was. Was it awkward? Oh, okay. and I want to know the story. Oh, you can know. I don't care. Tell me. Oh, okay. For, well, for wasabi? I okay. wanted to, okay. I so, kind of thought like you'd be like, I don't, I don't kiss and tell. Well, it was so long ago, I don't care. It was like last week. It was last week. Yeah, Bert's no. in the room anyway, so yeah, don't matter. Bert, I mean, Bert, yeah, it was Bert, no. It was um, eighth grade. Eighth grade? Eighth grade. I think that's when I, no, I lost my first kiss in eighth grade summer. There was this girl, we're gonna call her Jelly. I don't know why, just Jelly came to my mind. Okay, so yeah, her name's Jelly. Jelly. And Jelly, we were at her pool party, and her dad was there, and he was watching us the whole time. We were dating, so. And we were just sitting in the pool, and she just starts kissing me. Like, I, I didn't even see it coming. And mind you, eighth grade me had no idea what kissing was or how to kiss. So I just kind of sat there, like, awkwardly as she just kissed me, and I didn't do much of, any, of anything back. Okay, so that's a little awkward. I thought it'd be more awkward. I looked no. at you, I was like, you're gonna have a little bit of an awkward first kiss. You're a little bit nerdy. I had an awkward first kiss. Really? No, yeah, mine wasn't that bad. It was just, I didn't do anything bad. See, we were. I never got my first kiss. <clears throat> we were camping, yeah. and my brothers were like, "Oh man, this guy's a loser. We gotta give him his first kiss." <laughs> so we played spin the bottle, and once I spun the bottle, all the guys left, and it was just me and one girl. Cause we played oh. spin the bottle with one girl. That was the plan. Is once I spin the bottle, they're all gonna leave. Even if it doesn't land on her, we're gonna kiss. Bam, bam, boom. It was in a tent too, but it was just like this. And then it was like, "Oh God." And then I ran out, I was like, you guys are jerks! It was fun. More awkward than what yours was, but. Yeah, mine wasn't that bad. Like, I mean, it was yours awkward. Yours sounds more cool. Like, yo, she came up to me, she kissed me. I was like, what? But I was like, okay. But her dad was watching me, that was the weird that part. That is the weird part. The, that, no, he was watching us the whole time, and he was just like, like, okay. We're gonna start you off with the olives. Oof, that is gonna smell like yeah. toe jam. Mm -hmm. I did some talking with Zach, because I didn't know enough to ask questions for you. So I talked to yeah. Zach, and I was basically like, I need a good question. He said that you had many things happen to you in your childhood. Oh, obviously. What is the goat story and the snow pants story? See, I wouldn't mind to tell you this if we were by ourselves, but knowing that there's like people in the camera and they're like, oh, <laughs> that's what it bothers me. Yeah. I will tell you anyways, because I'm, I'm not going to tell you. That looks fungus. pretty gross. I tell. fungus. All right, so the goat story, was that first? Yes. Okay, so a lot of things happened to me when I was at my babysitter's house. We were young, yeah. stupid. Yeah. I was probably like five, six years old. Sure. And they lived on a farm. Mm -hmm. Everyone was playing on the hill sledding, and a goat got out, like a ram with the big horns like this. Oh, the, the ones that go Yeah, circular. the curly ones. Yeah, the curly ones. Okay. And everyone's like, oh my God, run up the hill, run! Because they this little hill with rocks. And I was like, you little idiots, this is a mountain goat. They can climb up hills. So I was like, mmm, and then it actually started to climb up the hill. But what I, I was like, no, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna run to the house. It was probably about a block away. So I started running to the house. The goat looked back and saw me running. Oh, and it was I like, that's running. an easy, gigantic target. <laughs> and he went right after me. Right when I got my hand in the door, right in the Whoa. butt. He hit me right in the butt. And the poop pants story is similar to that. I had to go to the bathroom really bad and I had all these snow pants on and I couldn't get the outfit like off quick enough and as I got to the door to open to the bathroom I put my pants in the, in the entire snow pants oh so when my oh. babysitter had to take that off me it was a gigantic poop pile messy diarrhea and That's that gross. is why I don't have a girlfriend now why? oh because I that think story. it stems from that that one story well it stems from my whole childhood okay. being poop pants yeah I mean that that, that would do it okay. all right I'm gonna get you back I'm gonna okay what do you, what you hit me with let me get a question <clears throat> okay oh what, are you <laughs> what, am I, what am I eating? What am I eating? Give me the word. Oh, I'm gonna give you the clam juice. Okay, okay. I'm gonna give you a little bit of the clam juice. Okay. Personality-wise, who's your least favorite proper prod member of all time and why? Okay, Moose. Oh, come on. Damn it. I thought you were gonna answer that. I thought you were gonna drink that. Really? Yeah, I didn't think you would say anything. No, no, I'll, I'll be honest. Okay. Because as a proper prod member, Moose was terrible. 
Mm. I mean, he would complain about eating all the time. Like every recording we'd get in and he'd be like, I want to go eat food. And then he would drive, like he would leave the, his apartment where we were filming, drive like 20 minutes down the road to go get food and then drive back. And we'd be sitting there like, where'd he go? He just went to get he'd food. He would just leave and get food. And he'd be back and be like, I was hungry, dude. You, I gotta get food when I'm hungry. And I was like, or you eat before the recording like everyone else. Yeah, or you eat during the recording <coughs> like Ryan does. Ryan, that disappoints me because I thought you were gonna be like, I'm not gonna say anything. Oh no, I, dude, I already threw- I, what, I, Now I don't know if I have any questions that you will eat on. It's hard because now I'm so open because I've already like, I was already made to admit some of the like, think people I hate improper, so I'm yeah. like, okay, sure. I'm just a little disappointed. I thought I would've got you. It was close, but I was just like, eh, that's a big thing that triggered me. Yeah. So, I mean, and everyone knew it too because I've, I've said that before mm -hmm. in a live stream. I'm gonna give you clam juice right now. I will answer anything. I don't care. Will you? <sighs> Tyson, you need to kiss Bert on the lips right now. Who or gives this eat? question? <laughs> this was Zach's idea. So I kiss Bert or I drink this? Yeah. Oh! <laughs> oh! God, I hate you! <laughs> I will never kiss Bert in my life. His mom won't even kiss him. I would say right? that was the case for me, but it's too late, so. Uh, uh, <laughs> Enjoy. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Just whiff it, take a sniff first. Oh, <laughs> God! No, this sucks, I hate you. I hope I get you back. Oh, there's nothing to drink. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, oh. oh, God, I can just, I can. It's it, bad yeah, in my nose gross. right now. It's It's bad. Oh, okay. What is that? Oh, it's so salty. Yeah, it's not. It's like it tastes like the ocean. Oh. <laughs> so you can get revenge. You have two more oh questions. Oh my god, it tastes like. Oh my god, it's like melted glue that's liquefied and then like just a, no, just a splash of salt. But then they put the whole jar in. No, that it's was disgusting. That was so bad. But to be fair though, oh thank God he got it. This Coke Zero, I'm on a diet. I'm gonna go with the clam juice. Oh no. You gotta drink the back one. I'm guessing you'll drink you, this you one. You really want me to drink the Oh, I want you to drink You want me to drink the one so drink bad. Eat what's in front of you, or tell everyone that you hate Tina to her face. I want you to call her, and I don't want you to tell her why. And you have to wait a solid hour after. I have to wait like, an hour? Yeah, I hate you. I wish you weren't on my team. That's what I want you to do. Or you <coughs> take a little sip of the, the, the clam juice. Oh, yes. Oh. This is good. <laughs> I'm really bad at telling people like they're they're fired or I hate them or anything. Yeah. So this is even harder for me, especially where it's someone I work with every day. Yeah. Like I could tell like if this was like someone like let's say Matt, yeah. it would be so easy. Oh, easy. But like if it was Goldie or Ash who I work with every day who don't know me necessarily as well as Matt, yeah, that's hard because I they're gonna cry. Oh, she's gonna cry, and you have to wait an hour of crying until you can tell her this was just a joke. This was just an hour. Oh, I hate that. Yeah, an hour. You had the right. hour on. Maybe I call her. Maybe I do it. No, just do it, Ryan. But like, who cares about her feelings for the next hour? And I will be watching your phone if I see you run into the other room. Like, <laughs> oh, no, I'm just fucking kidding. Kidding. Um. Okay. Okay. No, I can't do it. I can't do it. <laughs> I right. can't do it. No, 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 no. Cover up phone numbers. Uh. Okay. Go. This is what I wanted. This Go. is what I wanted from you. Oh yes. <coughs> oh, oh, it's so yes. bad. Oh. oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Welcome to my world. Welcome to my world, Ryan. It's disgusting. Oh. That's what you did to me. Bird! Your Bird! are watering like a madman. Give me that. That's one of mine! I'll give you a dollar. Oh, no! We're going wasabi. I will do anything. Tyson. You have to do everything for someone in this house and never complain. Who would you choose and why? Basically, who do you like the least? It's so like, so it's basically, your question is basically telling me, I have to answer this. Yes. And whoever I answer, it's probably who I dislike the, the most yes. in this house. Yeah, yeah. And I'll tell you right now, I will answer it. And I'll tell you really? why. This will give me the poops for weeks. Okay, okay. So who do you basically, who do you dislike in this house the least and why? All right, so I've known Bert for a while. So. I'll keep Bert. You're safe, Bert. You win. Bert's safe. <coughs> Ryan, I'll keep you as well. I like you. Um, oh, that leaves only two more. There's Matt, and then there's Slade. I don't really know Slade. I don't really talk to him. Okay. I do like Matt. I enjoy Matt's company. Okay. When he comes out, he hangs out with us. I enjoy him. 
Um, so Slade, he broke one of my buckets recently. Oh, crawling he through did. a window, and it was a red bucket. It was a red. It was and a nice red bucket. It's a nice red bucket. So Slade, you're gonna take that hit. Um, I would say I dislike him the most mm. because he broke my bucket. He so, it comes, I'm not eating this wasabi. There's no, no way. I would love to lie and be like, well, everyone, I love everybody. No, I'm not eating that. No, I'd, I'd, I'd throw anyone under the bus not to eat wasabi. Oh, yeah, 100%. I don't care. Now, Ryan, I hope this one, this last <coughs> question, I don't remember what it is. What do you give me, though? Because I you, I haven't oh, yeah. had olives or fish yet. I'll give you. I'll give me wasabi again. I'll give you the olives. Oh, no, that's what I want the least. Like, I would eat the wasabi. The festering before. olives. If you had to kiss, marry, and kill someone in the house, who would you and why? Okay. So you have okay. to kiss someone, you have to marry someone, you have to kill someone. Now, if you say kill someone, that's pretty much who you hate the most. Okay. <laughs> it's a good question. Okay. Here we go. Kiss and marry. See, I'm having more issues with who I'd kiss and marry in that. Yeah, the kiss is... That's hard. It's awkward because we see you every day. Yeah. We're going to look at you and be like, oh my god, he actually wants to kiss us. Yeah. I can see how that would be weird. Yeah, yeah. So I have to decide here. Kiss would have to be probably... Who I'm trying to think. Who would make it the least awkward? For me. Bert makes it the most awkward <laughs> by just doing that. Bert, you're gone. You're out. Yeah. You're out. I, if I personally, um, Matt's already got a girlfriend. None of us have girlfriends. Matt does. So I'd kiss Matt. That's he what forget I about, He forget about it day one. No, that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking like, I'd probably kiss Matt. I've yeah. also known him for like five years. Yeah, so there'd be some actual passion there. So like, it would be a little passionate, and yeah. then it'd be gone. Under the rug, never talk. It was like, yeah, he would, he would you have that quick little moment, and then it's gone. Okay. Mm -hmm. So probably Matt kiss. Mary would have to be... God, because no matter what, I'm losing money. <laughs> I will take I'm half. Say, I'm I'm say, I will take half. It's, it'll end in divorce. I will divorce you, and it will be messy. Oh God, between you two, huh? Let me oh, tell God you. Bless him, Mary Let Tyson. Me, Mary yes, Tyson. yes. <coughs> Get wrecked, Bert. I'm Mary Tyson. I'm pretty. You're not. Get wrecked. You didn't say I was pretty. Bert would be like, Bert's needy. Yeah, I could see you being needy. Yeah, Bert and, is yeah, very so needy. Yeah, you don't seem needy, so that'd be no. great. Okay, and then we just get a divorce, and I'd be like, take half whatever. Oh, I would fun. take half, and okay. I would sit there like so, a lottery winner. Kill. Slade. Hands down, Slade. I'd kill him in a second. Yeah, you have to. Do you and know why? why? No, why is it? He owes me rent money, still. He has not paid in three months. And he owes me over two grand right now. <clears throat> oh yeah, he'd be dead. What's my final question? Your final question. You okay, your final question. You've been doing YouTube since 2007. You've worked with a lot of people. Oh, obviously I'm very famous. Of all of the YouTubers you've worked with, who was the meanest to deal with? I actually, okay, this is not that easy because I remember Bert got the same question and he answered one and he answered it with Mango Tango and I was like, ooh, there's someone worse than that. Okay. So I was in Seattle, we moved, I went uh, to Wisconsin and I moved to Seattle to start this company with Scott as Minecraft. Um, he flew us out there and uh, you know what, he, he was a decent enough guy, he was a really nice dude but he let everyone walk over him. Yeah. So then he thought everyone was using him but the group that I was with, Zach, me, Steve, we never used him. Every time he took us out to eat, we wanted to pay for ourselves. Every time we went out drinking, yeah. we wanted to pay for ourselves. <coughs> Everyone around him yeah. would just take his money and just oh. faster off him and just live off him. Okay. So one day he came to our house and like he was saying this stuff and we were like, are you kidding me? I ne we never took anything from you. Uh, and then he was, it was just like this big ordeal and he like got in my face yeah. and he wanted to fight me. So like I grabbed a chair and I threw it across the room. I was like, let's go. And then his girlfriend got in the way like, no, Adam. And then like he was acting like really macho and he was like, oh, hit me, hit me. And I was like, no, 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 you'll sue me. Hit me first and then I'll destroy you. <laughs> he's me. right. You know smart. So like, yeah, Adam, he's he's had some good moments in his life, but that was probably the worst time I've ever had with a YouTuber, actually wanting to fight me and then yeah. kind of backing out. Um, I just think, again, it was probably a mixture of all the stuff he had to deal with behind the scenes that he just got angry. And so man, the meanest bottom. though. Oh yeah, he's definitely the meanest. Okay. That was definitely me. And I was like, and I was also me too. So back then, because we were, I was much younger, I was probably like 21, I was definitely a jerk. Yeah. So it was probably on both of us, just not being mature enough. Fair. Yeah, so I would well, definitely say him though. Well, that's the last question. Is that so, the last question? I don't have any more. Ryan, you want to eat one of these? Just for Look, fun? Just for fun. Yeah, no. you see that? Oh. No, no, no. So that was Spill Your Guts or Fill Your Guts. This time we had Tyson. Let us know in the comment section down below who you would like to see next time. Without further ado, we'll see you guys later. Bye, guys. Bye.